Hi, I'm Andre Bashai for CAPA. Earlier today, Brexel Broadview Heights High School students heard a powerful speech from nationally renowned speaker Kathy Meyer called Taylor's Message. The speech was about how she lost her daughter to underage drinking about three and a half years ago. Tonight, she's at the Cuyahoga Valley Career Center to give her message to local parents and students. Taylor Meyer was one of us, an intelligent, outgoing, and happy high school senior who loved to hang out with her friends and had a bright future ahead of her. However, on October 18, 2008, her life was cut short after a series of poor decisions mixed with bad luck resulted in tragedy. It was on that evening that Taylor and her friends made their way to an abandoned airport for an impromptu party. In their minds, it was nothing ridiculous, just some drinks and unwinding. However, as the night progressed and all became more intoxicated, Taylor got separated from the group and was too drunk to have the wherewithal to know what to do. Instead, the party closed out and her friends headed home, assuming Taylor was with someone in the group. It wasn't until the next morning that they realized she wasn't anywhere to be found. Less than 24 hours later, Taylor's body was found by police, a short distance away from where they had been partying. She had drowned in a mere two feet of water, presumed to have passed out prior to her death. Taylor's tragic story is told by her mother, Kathy, who aims to help students realize the importance of their everyday decisions. I asked Kathy what she hoped people in the audience would take away from the presentation. The one takeaway that I would like them to get from the presentation is that you never know. Nobody knows what their future holds and absolutely making a healthy choice and a good choice is what affects your whole entire life. Not just around drinking, around every little aspect of your life. You always have to look at it as, is it the best choice to make? Interestingly enough, it was not the administration that led the charge to bring Kathy to speak at our district, but rather a group of Huddle students who saw her speak at a convention this past summer. In our very first workshop, she spoke at, and we just thought it was really touching. And um, we all cried so hard, and we knew right then that we had to get her to come to our school. And she was so open and welcome to, like, she wanted to come visit us, so it was really cool. As I mentioned earlier, Kathy gave multiple presentations in our district. Her morning speech was targeted directly to high school students, and her evening speech added more information for parents as well. CABA community liaison Jennifer zisk Patron explained what she felt each group took away from the presentation. I think that the kids really identified with Taylor. I think they saw themselves in her. I think they saw themselves in her, the pictures of her and the activities that she did. She was an athlete. She was a popular girl. She was pretty. She did things with her friends. I think that the parents took away um, Kathy's pain and what it would feel like if they lost their child. And what she talked about co-parenting and about being able to make the call and accept the call and really being there for our kids is, I think, a very important message that they should that they received today. Kelly McNeil, CAPA member and parent in the district, agreed with Zisk Vitron completely on the concept of co-parenting. One of the concepts I took away was that it takes a village to raise a child and um, we all need to have each other's backs. We all need to um, be there for each other. If there's a party, pick up the phone and call, whether it's your friend's best friend or whatever, and just make sure that your child is there. Since Huddle students played such a key role in bringing Kathy to the district, I was interested to hear how the presentation affected them and their peers. I think I got away from it just to be a good friend and you know I've had friends in that situation and there's always the what if and I think that now I'll kind of think of that and go what if I didn't do something and what would happen. It also took away like kind of the impact of just one wrong choice and what can happen. Personally I took away that a lot more people care about me than like you initially think one bad choice affects everyone in your life and it really is important to think about what you do before you do it. Clearly, Kathy Meyer's speech was very emotional and it's obvious why Capper brought her to the community to speak. We hope that it was impactful for both parents and students and we hope that when students are faced with challenging decisions in their futures, they will remember Taylor's message. For Kappa, I'm Andre Bishai.